Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and today we're going to be talking about 10 products that every airsofter needs. Number one, the gun. Now every few years, the IT gun kind of seems to change. Last few years, it's pretty much been the Crytek. This one specifically is a Crytek Mark II that's been upgraded by Umbrella Armory. Now most stock Crytek's perform very well out of the box. They're pretty affordable and you get a pretty good package for what you pay for. Uh, definitely really solid guns out of the box. Uh, they actually have excellent accuracy, accuracy and excellent range. Uh, but definitely check them out. It's a pretty good buy and uh, definitely a recommended gun whether it's your primary or your backup. Okay, number two, going with the optic. Now I have two different setups here. I have my uh, GNG Elcan, so this is a GNG 4X Spectre essentially. It's a really good 4X uh, optic, uh, but one thing I like to switch out every now and then is by going with a T1 style red dot. Now this is a replica that was available through AEX. I'm not sure if AEX still has it, but it was really great because it has a pretty tight MOA dot. It is uh, available uh, in versions where basically it has red and green, so you can kind of switch between the two. And the biggest thing is it's got a kill flash. Uh, the kill flash is huge because it kind of prevents your optic from getting shot out. And when these were on sale, they were anywhere between 60 to 100 something bucks. Uh, but I'm not sure if AX still has them, but this was a fantastic red dot and I've had this for years. Uh, I still love the GNG optic for those magnif uh, magnificated uh, you know, scenarios when you need to see far and identify friend or foe. And what's really great is that I was actually able to attach a different brand's red dot on top. Uh, so A, it's cross compatible. So it really kind of completes this package. This is the setup that I've been using for a lot of Milsom events because it's good to identify friend from foe, but also have the ability to engage up close. All right. Number three. Now I know I've kind of been sticking on this gun for a while. Uh, we've got two more things, but number three is going to be the magazine. Now, the Enhanced Polymer Magazine is a fantastic magazine. It's designed well, it's aesthetically pleasing. I've actually made it a little bit more functional in my own personal modifications. Uh, it's backward compatible with some of the old Magpul products or Magpul base plates, so like Ranger plates. But it's also designed to work with 416s. It's very compatible with a wide, I mean a really, really wide array of different Stanag uh, type rifles, whether it's an M4 or whether it's a uh, uh, SCAR or 416. Very, very good. Uh, what, one thing that I really like is the wing gives it a lot of stability. And when it seats into a gun, it seats into a gun. Uh, it's really fantastic. A lot of Polar Star users really love them. And of course, I mean, with PTS mags, you get what you pay for. Originally, I paid like 28 bucks for P mags, and I kind of still do when I find them. But um, yeah, I mean, those things were like super expensive. So for a $20 mag, that gives you a lot of functionality, 150 rounds, including the uh, color, uh, colored follower, which is orange. Uh, it definitely helps. And because it actually shows when it's fully loaded, there's nothing like being able to identify when your mag is good to go in the middle of a fight and also in between matches, because that saves you a lot of time. Now, the last thing that I'm, I'm gonna talk about that's on this gun is the stock. Now. If you use a rear-wired gun, specifically a rear-wired M4, and you don't have one of these, you are missing out. So, I'm going to demonstrate what the stock is capable of. I have a bunch of LiPo batteries here, and I've got a standalone stock in front of me. This is a 1200 milliamp LiPo that I'm just gonna put right in there. Let's see, it's a 1200. I've got a 2200 milliamp and these are both 11 ones. So I'm gonna put these down the side tubes. Uh, just gonna show you, give you an idea. Then what the hell, we'll put a uh, you know buffer tube, a thousand milliamp battery right there. And then we'll just tuck these wires. Okay, I just had to fiddle with the wires a little bit, but there you go. I have four batteries and about 4,400 milliamp worth of battery space in my crane stock. This is the PTS Enhanced Polymer Stock. Fantastic. When I first got the prototype to test, I was just like, holy crap, people are going to fall in love with this thing. Now, it's got all the features that you want from a crane stock. One, 
it actually has the sloping, so you have a nice good cheek weld. Uh, it actually has these angles here that kind of reduce snagging uh, when you have slings on your sling points. Also has a cutie uh, uh, sling point right here. Also has a standard sling point right there, so it kind of fits multiple different uh, users. And of course, super easy, toolless way to get to your batteries. And as you can see, there's a lot of batteries in there. So. This is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, between the magazine and this, this is probably really close to being the top PTS product uh, that PTS has made and uh, definitely love it. And if you use a rear wired M4, you've got to be using this because being able to switch the batteries on the fly and just having a stock that also looks good and is built really well that fits all the batteries, it's kind of hard to get all, all those features in one stock. EPS is pretty much the way to go. Next up, arguably one of the most badass inventions in all of Airsoft in the last few years, the Odin Innovation Speedloader by Z-Shot. Now I've got two, I used to have three, um, because you can never have too many of these. These things are fantastic. They do kind of have a flaw, like they can break, but they are easy to repair. Basically, uh, one of the paddles on the inside may break if you put too much stress on it and it gets really jammed. But for the most part, these things are worth every penny uh, that you're gonna spend on them. It'll save you so much time, especially when you use them with EPMs, because ET EPMs will have 150 rounds and I mean, loading them the old fashioned way, it takes a long time. The Odin Speed Loader, Absolutely fantastic, holds a ton of ammo, and you can load like five, six mags in seconds like it's nothing. So definitely check these out. Fantastic, built pretty well, and actually, you know, a monkey can take this apart and put it back together if you have to ever repair it. Uh, but yeah, fantastic, and obviously there's plenty of real estate if you want to get custom engraved or whatever. It's really, really cool. Comes in a lot of colors, including red, uh, but it's a fantastic product. Now, this is something that, you know, Everyone's kind of got their preference, and as you can see, I've got a lot of gloves here. Mechanics gloves. Uh, they're affordable. They work good. I mean, I've used so many different kinds of gloves over the years, and yeah, like the Army issues these really thick gloves that I can use and I can get used to those, but there's just something about having that dexterity uh, and having that tactile feel that mechanics gloves have, not to mention they're pretty affordable, so if you lose one, you're not really gonna like, you know, it's not like you lost a 50 or 80, 90 dollar glove. You know, Mechanics Wear's uh, gloves are pretty economical, pretty affordable, readily available almost anywhere uh, from auto shops, tactical gear stores, and there's a lot of select, I mean, like, their selection's ridiculous. Like, if you go outside of the tactical side, they have, I mean, they make every color, every shade, like, there's so many different types, but, and they make, you know, different cuts and different types of, um, you know, <laughs> with so many different versions you there's there's no glove that you can't find that will uh, won't fit you inside their store but mechanics gloves are awesome protect your hands because the environment will chew these up uh, an inf old infantry guy told me that when I was young uh, Joe in the army and you know I took that to heart because let's face it splinters in the hands right. no one next up eyewear uh this is something everyone needs uh and of all the products that i have here or just period that are out there this is probably the one product you don't want to skimp on two because if you can't see your target you're not going to hit anything you're not going to play very well especially if you're fogging all the time now this is the alpha kit from oakley and yeah i know the alpha kit's kind of expensive uh for me with the alpha uh, frames um they pretty much don't fog for me. Uh, and I also have the Helo kit to comply with full seal regulations. You also have the goggles here. The goggles are okay, but I did have problems with these fogging me at Broken Home, but I just have them just in case, worst case scenario. Uh, but these are fantastic. You can swap out the lenses. They basically are combining more of the features that they got from the Tombstone, and plus you have this really cool array of different lenses uh, in Prism. Uh, um, and what's really great is that they really enhance the colors and, and just how things pop on the battlefield. Uh, so the alpha frames are definitely a good way to go. Obviously, ANSI rated. I mean, protect your eyes, because uh, <laughs> you only get one set of eyes, and they don't grow back. Uh, you know, it's not like Men in Black, where you can just get shot in the eyes, and next thing you know, they grow back. So definitely protect your eyes. Uh, it's a re I mean, it really is an investment, and that's probably why, you know, when it comes to eyewear, only wear the best because that's what your eyes deserve. Because unlike everything else, your feet, your skin, you know, uniform, whatever, those things could fail and you'll walk away from it. 
your eye pro fails and you're blind for life or until they create like cyborg enhancement for your eyeballs so don't cheap out on eyewear that's the one thing you definitely want to spend your money on okay one of the last but not least uh um sets of products i have here foam pads uh or foam plates more the rather these are fantastic. These are made by PTS. One of the reasons why I like them, and initially I was kind of like, you know, they're not like the stiffest pads ever, uh, but when it came to traveling and when it came to just comfort, and the fact that it actually has kind of this thin, almost like nylon, um, basically fabric going all around it, it makes sliding in and out of plate carriers really easy because if you've ever used like the foam ones that are not covered, uh, they kind of become a pain in the butt to shove into the plate carrier. They just don't want to go in there. Um, also, because they're a little bit squishier, it makes traveling with them very easy. And you know, at first I was like, ah, oh, you know, the foam, uh, I mean, it's, it stays solid enough that you're fine when you're wearing it. And it also fills in your vest. But when you're traveling, you really notice the difference when you're able to really kind of bend and conform the vest uh, a little bit more in your bag. Um, speaking of vests, I also have the Armatus. Uh, I haven't done my full video on this yet, but Yes, the Armatus is not the cheapest vest out there. It's about 250 bucks, if I recall. Uh, but it's obviously not the most expensive. And, you know, adaptable vest systems, or AVS, or whatever you want to call it. A lot of companies kind of have their versions. The LBX version is great. LBX supports Airsoft. Uh, I mean, and also one thing, too, is, like, it's adaptable, which means panels like this get swapped out and updated with new ones so the new panels will have the g-code ones on here instead of the tacos and that's what i really like about this vest the front and the back completely completely upgradable if something becomes outdated or out of spec or something new comes out they can make something add it to it and you're kind of staying with the crowd you can switch out the cummerbund um, and they're comfortable and for me i'm a kind of a small guy and so this is actually a really good balance in plate carrier size for me it's a little bit bigger than the 300S, but smaller than the standard LBX carrier, and you know, pretty comparable with a lot of plate carriers on the market. And LBX makes really good quality stuff that is uh, actually very, very fitting with what I need. And of course, it fits these fantastic foam plates. And there's nothing like having this awesome plate carrier, but you got nothing in it, so it's just all foamy and bendy and really weird looking. And a lot of movies do that too. But so this compared with that really good recommended set of products if you guys like this video check out my website i have a whole section dedicated to recommended gear because people always ask me i mean i literally built you guys a section where you can check out all these cool products that i recommend and it takes you to the company's website or it takes you to a place where you can buy it um and it's fantastic i mean i like oh, i don't know why someone didn't do it for me before uh so it's kind of like my own version of kit like there's a website called Kit, but it's like on my website. So you can check it out. A lot of cool swag, patches, uniforms, gear. There's a lot more than just what's shown here uh, on my website. And of course, got patches and cool swag for sale. Gonna be doing more videos like this, but hopefully this set of uh, recommended products I think a lot of players should have. Hopefully you guys dig it. If you guys wanna see more, let me know if you have comments, questions, even video recommendations, drop them in the comments below. I'll be doing my best to answer as many comments as I possibly can. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW and I'll see you guys next time.